In the past month, I've made around $150,000 from what I would consider to be mostly passive income sources. And I say that because I honestly haven't worked that much in the past month. I've been traveling a lot, I got sick as well, and I'm just recovering from that right now. So I haven't had much time to devote to actually working, yet how have I been able to make what for many people is a full-time salary in just the past 30 days? Now, the only reason I've been able to do this is due to the fact that I've been building up these passive income sources over the past decade. Now you might be saying decade, this kid looks really young, but I started my online journey when I was just 13 years old and now I'm 23 and I'm so incredibly grateful for what my past self has done to be able to put me in a position of financial independence at an incredibly young age. And these passive income sources did take some work in the beginning for me to build them up. So they're not entirely passive straight from the beginning. A couple of them are, but most of them aren't. They are going to take some work to build up. But once you build them up to a certain point and you implement the right strategies that I'm gonna be sharing with you on today's video, they can then certainly be passive. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five of some of the best passive income sources available right now and exactly how to get started in them. Now, these are some of the best passive income sources because they're easy to start. Most of them don't require a ton of capital right away. And many of them have the potential of scaling up to ridiculous amounts of money down the line. Now, I can't guarantee you'll make millions of dollars just from watching in this video, but I'm gonna show you exactly what myself and a lot of my successful students are doing as well. Passive income source number one is on the website you're on right now, which is YouTube. Most people don't realize this, but YouTube is one of the biggest opportunities available to people in our time. And the fact that we can just upload videos to YouTube and they have the potential to go viral, and not only that, but we can make money natively from ads that YouTube puts on the platform, it's absolutely incredible. Never before in history have we lived during a time where we can take advantage of a website like this and it gets even better the content that we upload to YouTube it can also continue to get views for years into the future plus we can use it to promote any of the other passive income sources that we'll be talking about today we can use it to promote affiliate products selling our own course so many different things all from one single YouTube channel the videos live forever and they can continue to give views for years into the future my foundation was built on YouTube and that is what has 90% been responsible for me becoming a millionaire at such a young age and just to nail this point home over 40 million new people have signed up to YouTube and other digital platforms since 2020. And think about this logically. Do you think all of those people are creating content? No, most of those people are consumers. They're watching the content for entertainment and to learn new things. Only a tiny fraction, 0.0001% of those people are going to actually create content. And only a tiny fraction of those people know how to create good content that's going to actually get a lot of views. And you can learn those strategies and you're heading in the right direction right now watching a video like this because you're learning the right strategies to do as opposed to just going out there and guessing when it comes to doing this. So what this essentially means for you and I is that there still exists such a huge opportunity on YouTube. Don't think that you had to get in on YouTube years ago. I'm still starting new channels all the time and succeeding with them as well as all of my successful students in my community to mastery and monetization. They're starting new channels and succeeding with them all the time. They might be saying, Matt, but YouTube isn't passive so don't you have to keep uploading videos? Sure, if you wanna start getting new views and planting new seeds, but those old seeds that you planted, they can continue to get views forever into the future as long as YouTube exists. So it can be entirely passive once you've built up a backlog of evergreen content. And with so many resources available today as well that just make the barrier to entry into getting into YouTube so much lower. For example, you have ChatGPT to help you with writing your scripts. You have AI voiceover tools like Eleven Labs to help you with that. You have easy video editing software available like power director you have overseas talent that you can hire for great prices that's a win-win for both of you in my opinion not making at least some type of presence on YouTube right now this year is a huge mistake if it's something that you're at least thinking about doing if it is jump in there do it as soon as possible start planting those seeds trust me, you'll thank me a year from now. And in order to create a YouTube channel, you don't have to show your face like I'm doing right now, even though that can work incredibly good. And my personal channel is an incredible lead magnet for selling my course and I get greater fulfillment with helping people. But I also run a bunch of faceless YouTube channels as well, where I pay people to make the content for me. These are channels just like Brainy Dose, as you can see right here, which gets millions of views per month. And their content is mostly just stock footage with a voiceover on top of it. And you can get stock footage from websites like 
like Pixabay, Pexels, Dareful. And then you can edit the videos together using completely free video editors. For example, iMovie if you're on Mac, the PowerDirector app if you're using a phone, or if you're like me and you use Windows, then you can use HitFilm Express, OpenShot, or Shotcut. And there's so many different niches or subcategories of content out there when it comes to doing this. If you're interested in something, there's probably a YouTube community around that that you could jump into and potentially even make a full-time income generating videos around. The sky is the absolute limit when it comes to how much money YouTube channels can make. And if you're interested in some of the best niches when it comes to making money on YouTube, you can check out this video right here on my channel that shows you 30 of what are, in my opinion, the best niches to do this in. Passive income method number two is affiliate marketing. You've probably heard of this, but it's simply a technique where you promote somebody else's product. Every sale that you refer, then you get a commission from that sale. Now, I personally do this within my own business. I promote other software that I talk about within my courses and everything. And I make tens of thousands of dollars per month recurring because I'm promoting software that people pay for and they keep paying for over time. These include software like vidIQ and TubeBuddy. And the fact that I was making so much money promoting these software gave me an idea. What if I allowed other people to promote my own course that I sell as an affiliate? So I did exactly that. Set up a simple landing page, gave a bunch of free resources when it came to promoting my course Tube Mastery. And just like that, over the next couple months, I was making an extra tens of thousands of dollars per month just from people promoting my program. And you know what that meant? Since I was splitting 50% of the sales with those affiliates, they were also making tens of thousands of dollars per month. And to date, we've paid out over $600,000 to affiliates. Now, how are these affiliates promoting my program and other programs in order to make money online doing affiliate marketing? Well, there's two types of traffic sources when it comes to affiliate marketing or selling anything online. And those are free traffic and then also paid traffic. Now, if you have more time than money, then you definitely want to jump in and start with free traffic. But on the other hand, if you have more money than time, then it does make sense to start experimenting with paid traffic. So free traffic, in my opinion, the best form of free traffic is going to be running YouTube channels because like I said, those videos live forever. They can continue to get views unlike other social media out there. But if you want a complimentary source of traffic, you can look into starting an Instagram account as well. And then eventually you can even think about adding your very own website or blog. And when it comes to paid traffic, these can include YouTube ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, etc. Another free source of traffic, by the way, is TikTok. So if you produce any short form content, it definitely makes sense to distribute that on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and then put the link to the affiliate product you're promoting in the link in bio for each of those respective platforms. And the math behind affiliate marketing is incredibly promising. If you get just 20 sales per month at a $500 commission, then you're making $10,000 per month. That's way more than a full-time income for most people. So as you can see, the potential for affiliate marketing is incredibly high. Passive income source number three, which is a little bit outside the box, is something called no code software. As you probably know, software has made so many people incredibly rich over time. But in the past, you had to be some type of tech wizard or you had to know one or you had to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars employing people who did know how to make software in order to make something that you hoped was going to be successful so you could eventually get a bunch of users. But nowadays, new tools have been popping up, for example, bubble.io, which allows people to create their very own software without any super advanced technical knowledge. And this has been commonly called no code software. Now, the key when it comes to having a successful software though, is to actually solve somebody's problem. So for example, if I take a look at the software that I personally use within my businesses, it includes software like vidIQ, like I mentioned earlier, which allows me to analyze the statistics of different YouTube channels. I also use Kajabi for hosting my courses. And this allows me to simply upload the videos to my course and they handle making it look good and everything. And surprisingly, you can create very similar products to these using no code software. Now, there is a little bit of a learning curve for this, but not nearly as much as learning to code them from scratch. And you can go down this rabbit hole like I have over the past couple months. And you can look into this further if you want, just by searching no code software on YouTube. You'll find a lot of tutorials teaching exactly how to do this and people showing case studies of being able to make lots of money with software. And the brilliant thing about software as well is the fact that it is oftentimes recurring revenue, which means that somebody keeps paying for that software month over month. And if you get a thousand users each paying you $20 per month. That right there is $20,000 per month in monthly recurring revenue. And the way software multiples work, a company like that could sell for as high as one to $2 million. Passive income source number four is for when you actually start making money with some of these methods, you're going to need a place to put it. And instead of using most bank accounts that are out there, which are going to 
earn you little to nothing whatsoever in the form of interest. You can instead look into something called a high yield savings account. This is true passive income because you literally just put the money in there and you'll get a deposit every single month depending on how much you put in. This is where I like to store my extra cash because then it's not just sitting there, it's actually doing at least a little bit of something for me. Here are some of the bank accounts giving the highest interest rates right now that you can see up on the screen. Now these do change over time, so make sure to do research that is up to date. And also make sure the bank account you choose is FDIC insured to ensure that your money is going to be all right. I do recommend choosing a bigger bank if you can as well, so you don't have to deal with the small one that could potentially go under or anything. And once you start making lots of money with these passive income sources, then it's time to jump to passive income source number five, which is investing. It's time to invest some of your money. And the reason for that is so you don't lose your money to inflation, because with inflation, the value of your money decreases over time. Now, investing can seem like a very complicated subject. However, the way that I like to go about doing it, it's actually very simple. I just invest the majority of my money in index funds or ETFs that cover the majority of sectors and markets within the stock market. These include SCHD, SCHB, VOO, VXUS, and a bunch of different other ones. And none of this is investing advice. I'm simply sharing what I personally do. But the reason I invest in these is because these funds that comprise hundreds of different of the top companies in them, so I don't have to invest in each of those companies individually, and therefore my risk is a lot lower as well. And this is a long-term strategy that can make you money. You can also take part in what's called dividend investing, where you invest in companies that pay higher dividends. And there's a lot of great videos on YouTube breaking down the math behind making an extra hundred or thousand dollars per month from dividend income over time. And this as well is true passive income. But before you go about investing or high yield savings accounts or anything, make sure that you first and foremost focus on a business or a skill that's going to generate you income in the first place. And like I said, in my opinion, the absolute best way of doing that is running a YouTube channel. And if you want to discover step-by-step step how to start a faceless YouTube channel and potentially make a lot of money from it, then check out this video next to me right here. It will show you exactly how to do just that. This video right here, I essentially designed it to be a free course. There's no fluff in it whatsoever. I really try to just get straight to the point in it. So check it out. I think you'll get a lot of value. My name is Matt Parr. Thanks for watching. I'll see you there.